Here we have 1.1 solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, variables on both sides, and fractional coefficients. So again, we do have to do step one, which is to get rid of the variables on both sides. Between the, the denominators four and three, sorry, step one is to get rid of the fractions. Um, denominators are four and three, we're gonna list the multiples of the larger number four. So four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, and so Three does not go into four evenly. Three does not go into eight evenly. Three does go into 12 evenly. So 12 will be our common denominator. So I'm gonna use the parentheses method to multiply. Now you can put, just to stay in habit, you could put all the signs and symbols in front of your 12. Okay, then here, same thing, minus, and then the 12. Here we're going to have no sign in the front. V minus 12 and 7 over 3. So then, so then 4 goes into negative 12 and negative 3 times. 3 goes into a negative 12, negative 4 times. Here there's nothing to cancel, so the 12 stays. 3 goes into negative 12 negative four times. So you end up with negative three times three V, which is negative nine V. You end up with negative four times five, which is negative 20. You end up with 12 times six V, which is 72 V. And you end up with negative four times seven, which is negative 28. Then you would need to do step two we kind of did step one and step two at the same time. We eliminated the variables and the parentheses by multiplying. So step two is done. Step three is to combine like terms on both sides, but you have variable constant, variable constant. So there's nothing to do there. Step four is to move this variable over to the other side. So we get negative 81V minus 20 equal to negative 28. Then step five is to move the constants to the right. We get negative 81V equal to negative eight. And then the last step is to divide by the coefficient. And the signs can reduce, but if you type this in your calculator, the fraction itself won't reduce. So you do end up with a weird um, answer like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this problem. So first step is to eliminate the fractions by finding the common denominator. The denominators I have are two and five, even though five repeats twice, you don't need to write it twice over here. It is one single number. So five is the bigger number. So I'm gonna do five, 10, 15, 20, so on and so forth. And then so we have two does not go into five, but two does go into 10. So this is my lowest common denominator. So I have negative 10 times seven fifths W plus 10 times one min or equal to minus 10 times seven over two W minus 10 times two fifths. Now five does go into 10 too, and you can just remember that this is a negative two times a seven W and get negative 14 W. Here 10 times one is 10. Here two goes into 10 five times, but you have negative five times seven W, which is negative 35 W. Here five goes into 10 twice, but you have negative two times two, which is negative four. Now we move on to step three, because step two is to eliminate parentheses and we no longer have any parentheses. Step three is to combine like terms on both sides. You have variable constant, and then on the right, you have variable constant, so nothing to do there. Step four is to move the variables to one side. So I'm gonna add 35W to both sides. 
and I get 9W positive. Then step five is to move the constant to the other side. I don't think I am correct in that, so let me check that. Negative 14 plus 35 yeah, is actually 21. So this, I don't know what my brain was doing. It's always good to double check your arithmetic since we do have our trusty calculators to use. This would be negative 14. Divide both sides by the coefficient, which is step six. And if, that, if you type that in the calculator, it will reduce it to two thirds. So notice when I type that in the calculator, it does reduce it to negative two thirds. And that is the answer.